Samira's Kitchen. Today is Sunday and as we all know in Liberia, most Sundays we do chuck rice and gravy, right? So today I'm going to be giving you guys some chuck rice and gravy in the house, family. Let's get cooking. Stay tuned. Let me take you to the ingredients. Okay, so today for our proteins, I'm going to be using some prawns. I've already cleaned and is it the shell? I've moved the, the scales or peelings or shells from it. And then here I'm going to be using my fresh fish, right? I have two different kinds of fresh fish here. I have the barracuda fish. And under here I have like two different, um, two pieces of the bottle nose in Liberia. That's how we call it. I don't know the English name for it, but that's what I'm going to be using. And then in here I have three different parts of the beef I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using the beef tail. I'm going to be using the shoulders. It's not fat, right? This looks like fat, but it's not the fat. It's the shoulder side. And I'm going to be using the ribs. That's the three different kinds of the beef I have in here. And then here I have my chicken. I've already washed nicely. Yes, I'm going to be seasoning this and the meat together as I season my fish and my prongs to fry as well. So for the vegetables I'm going to be using to do my gravy, I'm going to be using my carrot. Um, like in one of my videos, I told you I don't like um, using frozen vegetables, right? So I'm going to be using my sliced carrots, my bell bell peppers. I'm using the green, the red, and the yellow. Yes, you know. And then in here, I have my diced tomatoes that I'm going to be using. <laughs> Today we're going up to my diced tomatoes and my vegetable oil I have in there that I'm going to be using to fry my fish and my chicken as well and <clears throat> making of my gravy. So in here, I have my spicy mix. I'm going to be using a blended onions, ginger, garlic, rosemary, thyme, and black pepper cones. That's what I have in here. I blended this. This is my spices I'm going to be using for the day, right? And then in here, I have some paprika that I blended already. And I have my green onions I'm going to be using as well. So, and I have my sliced onions here I'm going to be using for my gravy as well. And some tin tomatoes on here. And for my spice, I'm going to, for my seasoning, I'm going to be using two noy cubes and my own gas seasoning here with um my white peppers that's what i'm going to be using using to season my proteins today so for our star ingredients we are going to be using the basmati rice i have my basmati rice here i'm going to be using and then i'm going to be this is the main ingredients of the day this is what makes it chopped rice I'm going to be using my jute leaves for my rice. I'm going to be mixing my jute leaves and my rice together, guys. Stay tuned. Let me let me teach you how we're gonna do it, right? <laughs> and my shrimps together right so it's the same seafood anyways for my fish I'm going to be using the noy cubes that's what I just put there and I'm going to be using some of the spices that I showed you earlier on I'm going to be using some of it and I'm going to be adding um, part of my white pepper to it and I'm going to be using my hands to mix this. My hands are clean. You can see the water, the water in it, right? I say water. See, I'm not gonna speak better yet. I'm gonna give this a good mix and fry my fish. Today, the chop rice will be very delicious. I will let this marinate for about. For the season to go in, the fish good now. But the fish already seasoned. I will let it season, like, like the season to go inside good, good for about 10 minutes before frying it. And you know, eh? You know what I'm talking about now. They kind of work close here. So I'm going to be 
putting my chicken in the pot. Yeah, no, no, in fact, all oh, that will be hard for me. <laughs> I'm putting my chicken. I'm adding my meat as well. My beef. I'm going to be adding um, some of my spice. I'm going to give this a very good mix. I'm going to be adding two, um, one of my onger and one of my noy cube. So, as we all know, today is Sunday. In Liberia, but some of the Sunday workings here. <laughs> In Liberia, most of the time we have chalk rice, cabbage, collard greens, fried greens, jello fries, fried rice, and all these things. These are all our Sunday meals. Yes, yeah, so for my new subscribers, I don't eat salt. So if you notice that I don't cook salt in my food, it's because I don't eat salt. I'm gonna give this a good mix and let it stem. I'm gonna let this marinate on the fire for about um mm, the smell, the garlic and the ginger, the thyme, the rosemary. Oh no. Oops. I'm gonna let this thing down for about 10 minutes. I'm not adding any water. I'm gonna let it um meat produce its own water. So stay tuned family. So I'm going to be, my pot is hot, right? I'm going to be adding the oil to fry my fish. To fry my fish. I'll be using the same oil to cook, to make my gravy. So you can choose to fry your chicken and your beef after steaming it, right? But, uh, Whatever way you want it, if you like fried chicken, you can fry your chicken or your beef. And I remember when I was showing you my ingredients, I made a mistake. They're saying paprika. No, it was my habanero peppers that I blended. As you can all see, that I didn't add water, but we have a lot of water in the pot here. You can see. So I'm going to use this water to cook. This one's going to cook the, the proteins in here, the chicken and the beef and and washing my colleague in my fish for the pot. So I'm going to let it allow it to fry for five minutes and I'll flip it over. Okay. So we're going to be making a plate. That is how I want it. Golden, golden brown. So I'm going to let it fry for like two minutes. And I'll remove it. And I'll be frying my chicken. It's been a while I ate chuck rice, right? People say she can say it's been a while I ate this, but I really don't eat. Um, unless I'm doing my YouTube channels and I cook this food. But if not, anything I see will go. Anything I cook, we eat. And honestly, to get the palava sauce, the jute leaves here, it's not easy. It's not easy. My old man gave me this one. Mrs. Barry, thank you so, so much for my jute leaf. If she didn't give me this palava sauce today, I wouldn't have had it to make chopped rice. My meat produced a lot of water. A lot of water, but it's okay now. So I'm going to be turning off the heat and then fry my chicken and meat. So, I'm going to allow you to fry for about 
five minutes and then I'll be removing it and add the rest of it here. Okay, so as you can see, we are there and we are good to go. I'm going to be removing this. I don't want it to over fry more. I just want to get it drawn a bit. Okay guys, so I wash my pots as you can see and I strain my oil so I'm going to start making my gravy now I'm going to be adding my sliced onions to the pot yeah I'm going to let this fry for one minute and I'm going to add my tomatoes to it. So I'm going to be adding my thin tomatoes to it. I'm going to be adding my thin tomatoes to the pot. And I'm going to let it fry for about five minutes until my tomato is well fried before adding my blended spices and uh, my fresh tomatoes to it. So stay tuned family. Let's get going. I'm going to be adding my spicy mix to it. And then um, give it a stir and add my my habanero peppers. The peppers that I made a mistake and said uh, it was paprika, right? Just and I'm going to be adding my um, fresh tomatoes to it. I'm going to allow this to fry for about five minutes and I'll be back. My tomatoes, onions, and um, peppers have been fried for um, about seven minutes. I'm going to be adding my stock to it and then let this go down a bit before adding the rest of my ingredients. Yeah. So. I'll be back in a few minutes. Our uh, gravy has been frying for some minutes now. But I um normally I don't like my vegetables to be soft, right? I want it to still have some crunchiness to it. So I'm just going to be adding only the carrot for now. And then I'll add my paprikas later. My my bell peppers later. But I'm going to be adding my carrot for now. Because the carrot takes longer to cook, and I'm going to add my um, um, my chicken so it can marry the sauce. My chicken and my beef stove is too high. Yeah, you can see it. We are getting there. I'm going to be adding this. Give this a good place. Let this fry for the next five minutes, and I'll add my bell peppers and my fish to it. Okay, family. Don't see it at all. It's sweet. <laughs> Who are gonna taste? Who wants to come and taste? Let this fry for a bit before I add the next the rest of my onga to it. So the gravy is already almost there. So I'm going to be adding my my shrimps. 
Remember the shrimps? We didn't add the shrimps, but we just seasoned it left it here. I'm going to be adding the shrimps. I'm going to be adding my vegetables to it. Colorful pots. <laughs> Yeah, no from the face and the soup will be juicy, right? The gravy. I'm gonna give this a good mix. Very good one. And then I'm going to add my fish to it. I'm going to add my fish. to marry itself all the couples in here the seafood lovers the meat lovers they are all in here vegetable lovers they are all in here yep. so, I'm going to be showing you guys now how I'm going to do my my chuck rice right the superstar of the day so stay tuned then. So our gravy is already ready. Everything I get married here. The couples, they're on the reception now. Oops. So everything is ready now. So I'm going to be turning or lowering the heat for it to just simmer down a bit. For the next five minutes and i'll turn off the heat and then i will start to do my jute leaf like i said before oh, see the colors colorful gravy you can see chai is looking juicy that chai is tasting juicy this is very 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 delicious Nama G's. boiling water to cook my rice. I'm going to be cooking my rice in the pot. I'm not going to be using rice cooker to cook my rice today. I'm going to be boiling my rice in the pot because I'm cooking chuck rice. So I want my rice to cook with crust um, the way I want it. So I'm going to be cooking my rice. So my water is already boiling. I'm now going to wash my rice and introduce it to the hot water. And I'll add a bit of um, salt and uh, Oil to it, cooking normal white rice, normal steam rice. So, when I'm done with this, I'll show you how I'm going to be doing my jute leaf. Okay, so I'm going to be adding my rice to the pot. I already added a little bit of oil and a pinch of salt. I'm not the only person eating this rice, so definitely there must be salt in the rice, even though I don't eat salt. So, I'll still cook my own rice, but I'm showing you how we make it. Chuck rice. I wash my rice, make sure I got all the starchy part over it. Yeah. So I'm going to bring this to a bowl. Going to stir this and bring this to a bowl. So I've been boiling a little bit. This is just clear water. Nothing is inside, and it's not much because the the jute leaf is not much, right? So I'm going to be adding my jute leaf to the pot. I didn't cut it because this one is so fresh and young. So don't worry. It will something by itself. I'm going to be adding a bit of bicarbonate of soda to it. Just a little bit. Yeah. Here we go. 
Donc là, je le vois mon enfant l'aider. Et là, il est coco. On a pris bas. Ok. So you can see the leaves are dissolved already, right? So I'm going to whisk it. Whisk this a bit. I'm going to continue this process until I get what I want. Right? And I'm and I'm there will be no water. I'm going to let all the water dry in it. There's no more water in it, right? And you see, I didn't cut it for see. <laughs> because it was so fresh and young, so if you cut it now, you're just gonna be I'm gonna be giving myself stress. So it's already ready, it's good to go. And this is our rice. I'm gonna be turning off the heat. This is our rice. Woo! The rice is cooked perfectly. Perfectly, perfectly. You can see. You see? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I threw the rest of the patches. It's ready. So, I'll, I'm going to show you guys how we mix the, the jute leaves and, and the rice together to get the chopped rice. Okay? Okay, so the rice is ready, right? You can see the rice was this one one that's sticking together. Not sticking together at all. Okay. So here we go. This is the way we design the rice. Okay? I'm going to be adding a bit of the jute leaf to it. I'll mix this first and see if I'm going to do it. And you know when you're craving for something, eh? And you finally, finally got it. I know somebody was craving for this. And we'll be adding a little bit more. Oh yes. This is just how I do my chuck rice. This is just the way. So I'll be back and show you how I play this, okay? So our chop rice is ready, family. This is what it looks like. This is what it, it looks like. Let's see it. Let's go there and see what it tastes like, right? Hmm. <laughs> That's how Tiki eat it. Tiki eat it. For those of you that know, you already know. Sanctify this in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. For those of you that know, you already know what it's, it is. And for those of you that don't, try this. You will love it. Mm. It's so delicious. Mm. I just want a little taste to my little coming go all the way. Love you all and stay blessed.